Garrett, after the double to Iglesias uh, in the first inning, it seemed like you really settled in there. What were you able to do to cruise up until that seventh? Uh, Gary and I were on the same page a lot, and we were executing a lot more pitches than not. Um, and we kept a steady mix, too. It seemed like after that first inning, you had a pretty long conversation with Gary and Matt Blake in the dugout. What were you frustrated about, if anything, after that first frame? Yeah, the leadoff walk. Um, I just felt I could have, I could have challenged in the zone, uh, and um, the mistake pitch to Iglesias. So I mean, yeah. In that seventh, two outs, and things kind of unraveled pretty quickly there. Just what happened in that inning? Um, good pitch to Nunez. Good swing. Uh, bad pitch to Stewart. Good swing and uh, good pitch to Severino and. Snuck down the line, so uh, I I felt like uh, I felt like we 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 um, yeah we just kind of got a little unfortunate there, but certainly the pitch to Stewart was pretty bad. Overall, how do you feel about the outing as a whole? I thought it was a big step uh, forward. Uh, I liked everything relative to the last start, and so you know steady improvement. That was good. Thanks. We'll go to Bruce Beck. Garrett, I know you didn't look happy when you left the game, but do you still evaluate the length of your performance and the fact that you had the 7-3 lead when you when you left the ball game? Do you kind of weigh all that stuff together? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I was pleased with the outing. Um, you know, I I just it just you know I didn't end on a didn't end on a high note. Let's go to Marley Rivera. Hi, Garrett. You are someone who everyone praises and you pride yourself in your preparation. Obviously, your preparation got skewed this time. You got a different opponent. How were you able to perform so well when things changed so quickly? Well, I think, you know, uh, I think Gary was a huge help in this situation, knowing the Orioles really well. And, um, you know, it's now the fourth, fifth time in a row working with him. So our communication was flowing well. And I thought that we were able to keep a steady mix to kind of stay one step ahead of them at some times. Um, so, uh, but I leaned a lot on Gary's familiarity and, it, and um, we, we executed a lot of pitches. So we were in a good spot. Thank you. Take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric, you guys uh, talked during the three-week spring training about the importance of, of being flexible and with some of the stuff, curveballs are going to get thrown your way during the season. Is what happened the last two days and into tonight just kind of an example of that, of having to go, you know, go with the flow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no doubt, man. I mean, we had nothing to do with Miami and, like, our schedule got, got wrecked. So, um you know, I, uh, it's a good wake up call for the league. Um, hopefully we, we learn from it and know that, uh, know that, you know, it just, it doesn't just affect your squad. I mean, it, it has a ripple effect throughout, um, you know, other clubs. So uh, it's, uh, uh, but we're, we, we adjusted uh, as, as, as the players, we adjusted well. And, um, you know, I, I expect the protocols in the union and MLB to, to uh, keep moving forward as expected as well. So. Thank you, Garrett. Yep. We'll take the next question from Andy Martino. Garrett, the, the rhythm that you got in after the first, is that uh, just mostly the mix of pitches that you're working with with Gary, or did you, are you making any in-game adjustments to delivery to, to get a better flow there? Uh, I think I just kind of got into the rhythm. I, 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 I only was really upset with the one pitch to Iglesias, um, and I just felt that I could have challenged uh, the leadoff hitter a little more over the plate. But uh, by and large, we executed a, a lot of those pitches in the first. Um, so, and then as we started to roll, uh, there was some unpredictability there, I thought, um, and then matched that with executing more pitches than not. And, and, it, and it kind of it flowed a little bit. So. So, so it's not like one thing physically that you tweaked after that first inning? No, I just, no. Yeah. Thanks. We'll 
take the next question from Brendan Cuddy. Hey, Garrett. You've won 18 straight games. The record is 24. Can you get there? Oh, my gosh. Come on. I don't know. We'll see. We got next week. We got to win 19 before we win 20, I guess, right? So uh, just try to bounce back and, um, I don't know, take it one game at a time. <laughs>